I'm one of the artists. Uh, my uh, art work is uh, hanging up on the wall uh, and is uh, Shirley Chisholm. So I'm affiliated with the Fulton Art Fair and also I'm a producer of the uh, Artistic Talent Show which is aired in Brooklyn at the Brick Medium. Okay, that's awesome. So um, just let us know your name. This way um, we're familiar with, with not just the look but also we can take a walk and look through and, and uh, see your piece. Yes, my name is Melvin Isaac and I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm a native of Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And I've been drawing and painting and teaching kids uh, basically about 30 years. So, you know, this is what I do. And what's your uh, media? My medium is uh, oil. Oil? Yes, yes, That's yes, awesome. yes. And is it strictly oil or, or is it diverse? No, it's diverse. Uh, basically, uh, I do pastel, I do pencil, I do uh, acrylic, I do stippling, stippling. And uh, basically, I do it all. Do it all? Yes, yes. Well, that is awesome. It was great meeting you. And uh, we look forward to seeing more of your work. <laughs> well, well, I know Shirley Chisholm, Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm, mm -hmm. has Brooklyn roots. And she was the first Caribbean American woman to run for U.S. presidency. And she was definitely left a legacy in my hometown of Brooklyn. And I didn't learn much about her until much later in life, which I think it's time that we start learning about her and all of the important things that she did as a legislator and for women and for people in general and mostly for children because I know she was a big advocate for children. So, and I'm looking at this work by Melvin Isaac and it really speaks to who she is and who she was. Right, which is me, the camera guy. Yes, and it's very nice to meet you. Okay. And thank you for doing this. Thank you. All right. So we're good to go. Thank you. Shirley Chisholm was the first African-American woman to run for the president. She was nominated for president of the United States on July the 13th, 1972. When the congresswoman from New York launched her spiritual campaign, she took on the political establishment. Shirley Chisholm said she ran for the office despite the hopeless odds to challenge the status quo. In her announcement speech, Shirley says, I am not candidate of black American, although I am black and proud. I am not the candidate of the woman movement of the country, although I am a woman and I am proud. My present before you now symbolize a new era in American political history. Chrisom lost the Democratic nomination to Senator George McGovern of South Dakota. Shirley Anit St. Hills Chrisom was political figure who was decades ahead of her time. As a woman and a person of color, she has a long list of first to her credit, including first African-American woman elected to Congress in 1968, first African-American woman to seek a major party, nominated for President of the United States 1972, first woman to have her name placed in nomination for President at the Democratic National Convention first African-American to be on the ballot on as a candidate for president. After serving just three years in Congress represent New York 12th District, Kristen decided to run using the slogan that I had gotten her elected to Congress in the first place, unbroad and unbossed. From the Bedford Stuyvesant section of Brooklyn, New York, Kristen initially pursued a professional career in child care and early childhood education. Switching to politics, she served four years in New York State Assembly before she made a name for herself as the first black woman to be elected to Congress.